Gaffer, amazing turnout today. Yeah, it's brilliant. And, you know, just like I said out there, that you know, someone gave me the, the stat today that we've taken more supporters away from home this season than any other team in the league. And I think that's a great tribute to, to the people of Bolton, the way they've backed us, and, the, and not just the money, but the time they've given up getting back early hours of the morning from Bristol Rovers, from South End, and all, all those games. So it's great to see. And you could sense what it meant to the town tonight, you know, stood on that balcony. And uh, I'm very pleased. And, uh, Looking forward to the challenge of this summer. In this promotion, it was for them. Without doubt, you know, in, in football clubs, managers come and go, chairman do, so do players. But the one constant is the supporters. The, the club ultimately belongs to the supporters, and uh, you know they've had a tough time um, over the last few years. Over this season, you just can gradually feel them getting more and more belief in the team and, and the club. And um, you know, we've got to kind of keep that feel-good factor. It's really, really important. Um, you know, all the supporters listening to this, I just urge you all to, to get your season to get sport because you know that enables myself and the chairman to, to build the squad as strong as, as strong as we can because that's really important. And you know when you analyse the season, bottom came down and you know looked at the teams which were selected at times. You know they were too weak. You know there wasn't cover in enough areas. Uh, there's too many weaknesses in the squad, and we've got to make sure that next year that we start the season. And we've got cover in all departments and, and we feel strong, you know, if we get injuries, we know we've got players who can step in and, uh, you know, that's the challenge of the summer. Um, there's going to be a lot of tough decisions to be made in terms of tight calls, which there always are. Um, but I'm confident myself and the staff and, and the chairman uh, will get the majority of those right and uh, make us competitive next year. Having come in last summer and set a clear target and now delivered that target, it must be nice now with all of you to look back, reflect and celebrate with the fans. Yeah, that's, that's important to, to savour these moments because, as I said at, at the weekend, that uh, you know some managers, some chairmen, um, never get moments like this. And uh, you know, for, for Ken Anderson, um, you know, took on a really tough challenge in his first full year as, as a chairman. Um, to get a promotion, you know, he must be absolutely delighted. I'm sure, you know, he's, he's going to enjoy his summer and, and the, the sense of achievement. So yeah, you know, we will enjoy it. We will savour it. You know, we had a great chat with all the staff today, and um, looking forward to to having a few few glasses of wine with them all tonight. And uh, yeah, you know, getting ready again for, to build the squad up. It'd be easy for the lads' heads to drop after last season, but you've come in and they've really gone for it. They've stand up, they've been counted. Yeah, that's what it's all about. And even this season, you know, we've had the ups and downs, and you know, some you know, Rochdale away, some some tough tough games where it didn't go well for us. But not just football, life's like that. You know, the people who, who you know go to work sometimes you have really bad days, and you've got to get the next day ready to go again. And and that's what's pleased me more than anything that we're, then we've had the setbacks, you know, like the Oxford defeat at home, which was a probably our worst performance of the season um, to respond the way we did and go on a good run you know it says a lot about um, the club and uh, um, they've got to keep doing that um, next season there'll be there'll be tough days you know there'll be tough Sundays where I'm pacing up and down my living room and walking the dog around my village you know scratching my head uh, but when you get up Monday morning come to work you know we've always got that positive vibe again and, uh, and, and keep driving forward and there's real excitement about next season with trips to the likes of Villa Park and the Stadium of Light yeah I think it's an exciting league, you know. It really is. Look at some of the teams there, uh, but Bolton, you know, it should be in that company. You know, this is a big club, and you know we we'll sit comfortably with those teams, and um, you know we're going to make sure that you know when our supporters turn up home and away, that they see a really committed, they see really committed performances, and uh, that's our aim. You know, to do that, you've got to be fit, you've got to be competitive, the squad's got to be strong, uh, but you know that's our aim is to, to make sure that when the Bolton Wanderers fans drive away from games. Win, lose, or draw. That they've seen that honesty that, that we demand from the players. Now, what are the uh, summer plans heading into pre-season? Um, well, for the players, um, we had the debrief with them today about the off-season programmes, and you know it's important that the lads have a physical and mental break. Um, but equally, they've got their off-season programmes. As a manager and, and with Nick Allenby, the sports scientist, we've always brought the players back in in the first week of June for a test day and basically say to them that you know if you've done the work you should have done and they do a, a, a running a physical test on that day and you're in good shape then you get the rest of the June off to, to recover if not then you've got to come in so um, I want them to have a break but equally you can't in the modern day game just go for seven weeks and, and not see the players so we will have that week in June where we, we touch base with them we get them in the training ground we assess the, the body fat the weight and, and the physical condition thank you thank you very much cheers